back in the dating world, I feel very insecure. I tell myself I want to make everyone feel happy. I want to give off good energy. I want to be this. I want to be that. And instead, it just leads to like self-deprecating thoughts. Every now and then, I create video diaries just so I could reflect on some of the negative thoughts or just maybe any thoughts that I'm having. This is just my way of bringing peace to myself. So this particular clip on I Am Jazz has been talked about a lot over and over again. People made reactions to it. I reacted to it. This particular clip that went viral last year. But we've never seen the beginning and the during, the full during, and maybe even a little bit of the after of this clip. So in this clip, Jazzy started off with something called a video diary, saying that, you know, when he's not aligning, that this is something that he makes to, you know, I guess bring himself back in order. Sounds like uh, something that could be some sort of prayer or maybe should be some sort of prayer, probably would be easier that way. But either way, during this clip of the making of the video diary, that's where the the collapse kind of starts, or at least for us to see, because the collapse is going on more than we realize. We don't get a chance to see it as, as much on the show because the show has to always come off as, as positive as it can. You know, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this together. And uh, if you find that you guys are liking these clips and, uh, you know, these episodes that I'm making, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Thank you. I don't know why I've created this belief for myself that I can't connect with my body or that I can't slow down my thoughts or my mind. But either way, I'm just really struggling when it comes to just being. I put so much pressure on myself and my thoughts to be perfect that I end up fumbling and being my own worst enemy. I'm the only one getting in my own way. I used to be so confident and proud of myself and now I'm just kind of, well, I don't know. Um. So I have this belief that I can't connect with my body. It's not a belief, it's a reality. Cause the thing is none of it is making sense because even though you have morphed yourself into this kind of infused cosplay of maybe appearing as some sort of female, right? But you know, deep down inside, that's not what you are. It doesn't align. You know, there's a clip where Jazz is like, has the legs spread wide open and is saying, oh, I'm so happy I have a badge because I can spread my legs. Women don't get that excited about spreading their legs. That's kind of a male thing. So it's like these little ticks that males do and that females do, right? So that's not, we're not happy to have a badge so we can spread our legs, you know? So you see what I'm saying? It's like the mind, you still have some form of a male's mind. And the reason I say some form is because there's a lot of drugs that went into this situation. So I don't know how far diluted, you know, the, it's gone. So it's just, it's just quite the shame. And when you hear Jazz say, you know, these negative thoughts, I keep running back to these negative thoughts. Always remember that negative thoughts really mean reality. You know, reality is negative for somebody like, especially somebody like Jazz, right? Because remember, this was given to Jazz by his mother. So if there's any questioning of the narrative that might send Jazz into a form of reality, well, I would find it negative too, because that breaks your whole your whole delusion that you've lived in for the last, what, 20 something years, that's a lot to break through. And then you would be doing that by yourself because, you know, the show is writing on this, mom's whole life is writing on this. I mean, everybody who's thrusted you into this, nobody has your best interests at heart, allegedly, in my opinion. So that's something Jazz would have to do on his own. I mean, it doesn't really have to be on his own, you know, God could be with him while he's doing it. Not pushing religion, you, you, but y'all know I believe in God. Okay, so, so you're never really alone. But Jazz has not gotten to that part to even understand that yet. I'm noticing my negative thoughts, and I'm recognizing it, and I'm really trying not to let it take over. It's not easy. It's really not easy to be fully in alignment with what you want to feel. Um. Mm. I don't know. Is my mom here? Is she listening? Yeah. I just feel like I'm starting to put all this pressure on me to like, I, I know, I don't know. Um, what's up? I'm doing okay. So, um, 
Are you feeling like you want to start talking about? Are you okay? I'm okay. But you know I can't get out of my head. I know. No, listen. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. It's okay. Give me a It's okay. I know what you're going to. I've been there. No, it still doesn't stop now. And I'm already going back to negative. But the more you're talking about yourself, it gets harder. Mm-hmm. You're digging in and you're, it's making you put a magnifying glass on what's already difficult as it is. So this is hard for you, I know, and you don't, we don't want to push I know, it. I'm the one doing it, like, I know, you're your own worst enemy. You know, again, with these hippie broad terms, I need to read my own soul. What does that mean, read your own soul? Nobody talks in these terms. It, they place jazz in these brackets of, of unattainable goals, straight up. I don't know what it means to read your own soul. I mean, I, I, what that could mean is is growing and maturing and getting to know yourself and how you handle situations. But Jazz is still trying to read the normalization of his body and his mind. And that's the sad part because that's the basics. That's like level one Maslow's hierarchy where physio- physiology, where we know like, listen, I, I don't have to read my soul in the sense of like, I need to read my soul and force myself to know that I'm a woman. I wake up that day. It's not even a thought. I don't, I don't affirm that, right? And most women don't affirm that. And men don't affirm that they're men either. Uh, feminine and gay men, they don't affirm that, right? So this read your own soul, they're unattainable broad terms. We don't have producers in our home and mother always just ready and willing. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's like Jeanette, Jazz is having a problem. You know, it's almost like code blue. You know, uh, the patient is re- realizing, you know, like, let's get him sedated. Anyway, and so mom runs up there and mom is like, oh, and Jazz is saying, I don't feel like myself, right? I don't feel like me ever. And she's like, the old Jazz, right? This is her still trying to bring Jazz back. Don't go too far. Just, you just don't feel like the old Jazz, okay? That's it. The old jazz that was happy when they were like seven, eight years old, when there weren't a bunch of drugs involved into the situation. And when we could just still like get dressed, we could fit any outfit and we could just get accolades, cameras, flashing lights, everything. Yeah, yeah. The old jazz, right? And this and jazz is like, no, like ever. I don't know who I am. That's scary. I feel kind of all over the place and like my mind is very cluttered and not clear. And I really want to have that clarity. I really want to understand myself and be able to read my own soul and what I want and it's just very challenging and I think I'm kind of breaking down a little bit and spiraling into negativity. I just want to feel like myself. Like that's it. I don't like care. Just... All I want is to be happy and feel like me and I don't feel like what me is ever. What is me? I don't know but it's just there's a lot going on you know. Mm-hmm. I know. Your brain doesn't stop. Yeah, some. So the cameraman, I gotta tell you, I mean, like this. Hey, this is a show; it's reality. So they go and they close up into these pills, you know, to let you know, like Jazz got a bucket load of pills that you know he's got to take every day in order to to uh, walk some sort of fine line between between sustaining himself or just breaking apart into reality. Okay, so now. These, I'm going to take a guess of to what I'm looking at. This is nothing but a guess. This is just for fun. Whoopsie daisy. I'm not. I'm not uh, prescribing pills. I do, we don't do this here. I have not no liabilities here. This is just a guess. This is just me assessing as a nurse to what Jazz is saying and what I'm looking at and what they could possibly be. Okay. This is just a fun thing. Like I don't know how else. And this, I'm not saying that it's fun to do this to a person. I'm saying that it's fun to like play guessing games because I want to make it that much light. For YouTube. Sorry. I, I know I'm, I'm like beating this horse right now, but I just need you to know that I'm not taking any kind of liability to saying exactly what this person is taking. But I see a couple white pills and I see a couple orange pills. The only thing I could say from what I'm looking at, and you know, there's, of course, there's a lot of white pills and orange pills when it comes to pills. But when you hear somebody say that they don't feel like themselves or their mind, their thoughts, and what you'll hear later is that you know, uh, Je- uh, Jeanette is going to say something like, you know, you're getting clearer, you're getting better. You'll hear that coming up. So there are certain pills that do help people to clear their thinking. One of them being Risperdone. Risperdone is definitely one of them uh, that does help people with that. And that can come in an orange pill. I believe it's a uh, Risperdone, two milligrams can be orange. Risperdone does cause 
male breasts to arise. You know, they do cause male lactation. And when I say male lactation, like there are men who actually like form breasts because they're on risperdone. And then sometimes it's like a substance that comes comes out of it and everything else too. So it's just a whole nother, that's a whole nother space. But, um, but yeah, so, I, and then the, some of the circle white ones, I would imagine there's a Seroquel involved there. Seroquel does make you kind of gain weight. Seroquel also can give you that girth weight uh, around your belly. Uh, and so I would imagine there's a Seroquel involved there. That's a mood stabilizer kind of thing. That also helps clear the thoughts too. More like if you took a substance that messed up your thoughts, Seroquel is really good at clearing that up. Like somebody give you a molly or something. But um. Those are the two pills that kind of jump out at me as a thought as to what this person is taking. But uh, what we have to understand is, and Risperdona is very good at clearing people's thoughts. But the thing is, I don't think that Jazz's thoughts aren't clear. I think Jazz, when Jazz isn't having clear thoughts, I think it's that literally it's just that Jazz is starting to see reality. And so now I wonder how these medications really work for somebody like that who's actually clearing up and seeing reality. Times Jazz is conflicted about her, you know, personal life and then her um, image to the public because they don't know everything about her and what goes on with her. And, you know, I think in her head sometimes it's a conflict like, well, you know, people only know part of me. And it can be confusing when you're, um, you know, a well-known public figure, yet there's certain things in your life that you keep private. I care what I think, and I just feel so dumb and confused inside. Like, I just want more clarity. No, no. But you keep working towards it. Don't expect it to just happen. I, I know. Every day you're clearer. Every day you get better and better. Mm -hmm. You've come a long way. Yeah. Um, it pains me when Jazz thinks poorly of herself. She says it a lot. Like, you know, I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not as smart as I'm supposed to be or was. And... Like, you're exactly who you're supposed to be right now in this point in your life. We're not all trying to reach this higher plane. We're just trying to be happy and have a good time and enjoy life. I just want to be happy and have more a good tangible. time. That's all I care about. Make it more tangible. You have love. You're beautiful. You go to Harvard. Look at all these great things. And you're, you're going to find a partner within the next year for sure. And so again, like I told you, you know, Jeanette is saying the thing about, you know, you, you're clear. You're getting better. You're getting better. This is like praying that the meds are working like this. Jeanette is like, man, this whole thing is about to collapse. You know what I'm saying? And she can't have it. You know, there's a whole show writing on it. There's a lot going on. So Jeanette can't really have that right now. So she's trying everything in her will to tell Jazz, like, you're okay, you're fine, you're fine, you're clearing up, you're clearing up. And listen, none of us are trying to reach a higher plane here, okay? That's terrible to tell your child. You're not trying to reach a higher plane. Don't make it sound like reaching a higher plane is all of a sudden some sort of, you know, uh, a holier than thou type righteousness. No, but like people are the best way to grow is to find your purpose and like be better, you know, um, reach a higher plane to me would be like learning more about things than dealing with situations differently. And jazz can't even get to the, again, basic level one of feeling comfortable in his own skin, you know, the higher plane is self-confidence and self-actualization, you know, being real about yourself. And th there is everything in the way of that, <laughs> everything in the way of that, the narrative that's been given to jazz, plus the medications that are supposed to help jazz think clearer when jazz is actually thinking realistically, but then supposed to sedate her enough that she, don't, I don't know, you know, it's just a lot. Um, and this whole thing about, you know, we're just, we're just living to be happy. Okay. You just live to be happy. So it becomes like, where it's like, I need to be severely happy. Like it's serious that I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. But the thing is the things that bring this happy, oh, you you go to Hartford, you know, you, you've been talking more. Those things can be taken away from you in seconds. That, that, that goes for any one of us. I'm happy about this amazing career that I have. It could be taken away from you in seconds. So who are you without that? Right. Those things should not define you. And also, I know you're going to get that partner next year. This episode was about from 2021, I think, right? There hasn't been a partner. My mom is always there for me, every situation. And one day I'm going to be living on my own and I'm not going to be talking to her as much as codependent with her. And I'm going to have to figure out how to cope with certain emotions and situations. And we're both just learning to navigate our relationship as the dynamic changes.
But I have to do this because I can see that it's unhealthy to be too dependent on someone else. So in the end, Jazz, of course, you know, takes up her mom. Mom is always there for me, you know, and everything. And I mean, I know that I have to move on without mom, but my mom always is there. She knows like the right things to say. Well, yeah, Jeanette better know the right things to say. I mean, this is what Munchausen by proxy is, allegedly, in my opinion. So, you know, of course, mom isn't going to tell you the reality, like, you know what, maybe we went too far. Of course not. Everything is riding on you staying at an even keel. So if they got to dose you up, you know, tell you to be happy about Harvard, tell you to stop being your own worst enemy just because you might be flirting with reality and tell you whatever else it takes to get you back on stage with the lights, camera flashing in your face, then that's what she's going to do. But I don't know if that's the greatest mother or the greatest motherly advice. And uh, I think it would actually be safer if Jazz did separate from the family and find that self-actualization that he so deeply needs. I see you at the next video.